Hello all and welcome to Siri Apologetics. I'm going to keep this video very short. Recently, there were two debates that happened between the one and only Sam Shamoon versus the Islamic apologist Nadir Ahmed. In the following video clip of the first debate, Sam Shamoon openly challenged Nadir for the cross-examination section for their upcoming second debate and also promised to end Nadir's career in the cross-examination. As you'll see in this clip, in their first debate, Nadir Ahmed clearly agreed that they could have the cross-examination section in their second debate. Let's watch that short video clip now. Minutes, so what I'm going to do... back tonight to finish the cross X. I want you to come back tonight, Nadir. We're going to finish the cross X. You better show up tonight. Yeah, let's do it, because you're... Okay. Uh, you'll... Yeah. Don't bark, but you Nadir. Guys, you guys, you. Guys, you guys, you guys, okay, you guys aren't listening to me, so I'm going to mute both of you. Since I got both of you guys here, what I was going to do is give you six minutes each, okay? And and, and let me just... Oh, is Sam going away? Okay, Sam's going away. All right. Well, um, something. Okay. What, what you say, We're not finishing it. He's going to come back later on your show. We're going to finish it. That's why I don't give him any closing statements till he comes back. So when you're done, I'm up all night because we're not we're not done with this debate because I'm going to end this career. So make sure set up a time for him to come because there's no closing statements until we finish it. Okay. Sam openly challenged Nadir for a cross examination, and Nadir agreed. Let me play it again. Minutes. So what I'm going to do? Come back tonight to finish the cross X. I want you to come back tonight, Nadir. We're going to finish the cross X. You better show up tonight. Yeah, let's do it because you're uh, okay. You'll... Yeah. What did Nadir say to the cross examination challenge of Sam? Yeah, let's do it. So you must have heard how Nadir clearly agreed that in their second debate, they could have the cross examination section. But when they met again in their second debate, Nadir got terrified, he flip-flopped, and denied to have the cross-examination. Let's watch that video as well. Uh, please, no interruptions, guys. Jesus, no, when, every when, time you try to attack, I'm going to make fun of you. Debate. This is a debate, Sam. Okay. No, it's cross-examination. Cross-examination. You admit that Muhammad was inspired by your okay. prophet. No interruptions. That's a, that is a cross ground examination. Rule. Do you admit? You're, you're finished, Simone. You're running away. Yes, I'm running away. I'm running to Muhammad to spit I'm on his face. I'm appealing to the moderator. Step do in, please. Do you admit? Do you the admit? Moderator. Muhammad moderator. Drink, Satan. Hussein, for please. praising three goddesses. Hussein, and please. That's cross examination, yes, Stephen. Go ahead. Go ahead and respond, you know. Yep. Go ahead Go and ahead. respond. Hussein, I, I believe you did promise me that there will be no interruptions. I will have this my period. This is cross of X. No. I, yes. I, uh, I okay. So I don't agree. No. No, you actually so you did no. yesterday. It's recorded. No. No. We said we're going to do it today. Yes, you did. The rules let, yesterday. Are you going to let me talk? Uh, let's start the cross X, you coward. My first question. No, Do no, we're not starting anything. That I'm your not. prophet recited verses praising the three goddesses. No. And does it take a genius to know that's blatant idolatry can't come from God? That's my first question. Time me. Go ahead, Hussein. Time me. Okay, I'm going to start. I'm going to start the timer, you guys, just because we've got to get some kind of order here so that we can hear something, okay? Answer the question. My so time I'm going to go ahead and start. On, Answer the question. You agreed not, yesterday at Cross X. It's recorded. It's on my YouTube channel. We said we're coming to Cross X. Yeah. Stop, you coward. Answer. Okay, Stephen, I'm appealing to you. I cannot be interrupted, or else I'm not going to have this debate. Now, Sam Shimon is obviously. Answer wait, wait, the question. Listen, let me connect, Stephen. No, now, I'm not did talking you to you. Agree yesterday. Yes, did we you did. agree yesterday? Okay. Come today. Yes. Will you, you let me cross talk? Exam? Okay, let Will me play. Let me play. The okay, I got the clip. Let me play. <laughs> okay. okay. You guys, you guys, guys, can you get? Can you let me? Can you let me do this, you guys? Okay, let me just do this. Okay, I want to give you ten minutes, Nadir. Give you ten minutes, and you can cross-examine him. Now, during the cross-examination, you ask questions and you let him answer. Then, in ten minutes, he will cross-examine you. Now, what? Why don't you want to do that? That's what you were doing yesterday. Why don't you want to do that? Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, no, we are absolutely not going to do that. So, so as you can see clearly, Nadir once again broke his promise that he had made in their first debate. 
he had clearly agreed to do the cross-examination in the second debate. Now, what's a cross-examination section in a debate, and why did Nadir get terrified to have a cross-X? Let's look at the following article giving us more information about cross-examination in a debate. Cross-X, short for cross-examination, is a period of time between speeches where opponents ask each other questions to clarify and better understand each other's case. And if all goes well, an important concession for you to win the debate. Ultimately, you can think of cross X as another speech, except instead of continuous talking, you actually engage with your opponent. During this time, you are given the opportunity to demonstrate confidence and credibility that will allow you to become a more persuasive speaker and help you win speaker points. So according to this article, cross-examination is a section of the debates where instead of giving long and boring speeches, something that Nadir loves, often loves to do, you actually engage with your debate opponent. You get to ask him grilling questions during the cross-X and you are also allowed to interrupt, to clarify and keep the debater focused on answering specific questions. This section also allows the one who is cross-examined to show that he's confident, his claims are pretty credible, and he's not afraid to be asked specific questions and be interrupted for clarifications. Let's look at a sample cross-examination clip in a court of law. Santiago was a substandard Marine. He was being transferred. That's not what you said. You said he was being transferred because he was in grave danger. That's correct. You said I... he was in danger. I said grave danger. You said, is there I any I recall other... what I, I said. I can have the court reporter read back to you. I know you... what I said. I don't have to have it read back to me like I'm... Why the two grave... orders? Colonel? Sometimes men take matters into their own hands. No, sir, you made it clear just a moment ago that your men never take matters in their own hands. Your men follow orders or people die. So Santiago shouldn't have been in any danger at all, should he have, Colonel? You snotty little bastard. Your Honor, I'd like to ask for a recess. I'd like an answer to the question, Judge. The court will wait for an answer. If Lieutenant Kendrick gave an order that Santiago wasn't to be touched, then why did he have to be transferred? Colonel? Lieutenant Kendrick ordered the code red, didn't he? Because that's what you told Lieutenant Kendrick to do. Object! And when it went bad, you cut person. these guys loose! Your Honor, you have more inside you the bony transfer. Your Honor, you doctored the logbook. Damn it, Captain! You coerced the doctor. Consider Not yourself in contempt. contempt. Colonel Jessup, did you order the code red? I'll answer the question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled to You them. want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Did you order the code red? I did the job. Did you order the code red? You're goddamn right I did. So as you saw, cross-examination in the debates is a very grilling and intense session. Nadir first agreed to cross X, but in the second debate, he chickened out and denied it. This shows that Nadir is terrified of cross X because his pathetic logic, lies, and deception would have been exposed. I don't blame Nadir for denying the cross X. <laughs> you see, you can't lie and deceive in the presence of debaters like Sam Shamoon or Christian Prince and get away with it. Sam and Christian Prince will roast and barbecue you in the cross X. All Nadir loves to do in most of his debates is to pontificate, give un uninterrupted long speeches and continue to lie and deceive. In this debate as well, Nadir simply wanted to give long, uninterrupted speeches so he could continue to lie and deceive. Nadir broke his promise and didn't allow cross X. This shows that Nadir has zero confidence in his case and he has zero credibility because he got terrified of cross X. This is the reason why Dr. Nayak is also petrified to have a formal debate with Christianity's best debater. He would never come near them because he knows that he'll be squashed like a grape. Nadir, you broke your promise and you ran away from Sam Shamoon, but we can only hope that you'll be man enough to keep your promise. Come back and debate Sam Shamoon. 
keep your promise and face the intense and grilling cross-examination section if you have confidence in your ridiculous claims against Christianity and if you think that your stupid claims against the Christian worldview have any credibility. Thanks for watching.